This question is going to be considered a diagram question. I consider it a diagram question really just because of the chart that's provided here. So what I like to do is I'll read the question, but I want to pay a lot of attention to the meaning of this table that I have here. So the question says the table below shows the total number of goals scored in each of 43 soccer matches in a regional tournament. So let me just stop there and make sure I see that. So when I look at the table, I see that this first column says total number of goals in a match. And the second column says number of matches with this total. Okay, so that means that for my first row, for instance, there were four matches in which the total number of goals scored was zero, right? But there were 10 matches in which the total number of goals scored was one. So that's how I should read it. That's how you should read it. And it's good to make sure we understand how to read it before getting to the final, before finishing the, the question and getting into solve mode mentally. So the rest of the question says, what is the average number of goals scored per match to the near 0.1 goals? All right, well, the average number of goals scored. So I know how to find average, right? So an average is just the sum of all of the things that I'm averaging, in this case, the number of goals, divided by the number of things that I have, in this case, matches, right? So I know that there are 43 soccer matches. So I already know from the beginning that my denominator must be 43. Now the tricky part comes in with how do I determine my numerator? Well, here's where this table becomes extremely valuable. And I'm going to extend my line because I'm going to need a lot more space here. So remember how I said this first row means that there are four matches with a total of zero goals. So how if I'm looking for the average number of goals, technically, and I don't necessarily have to do this because it's zero, but I would have to say zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. That would take care of that first row. And then because there's 10 matches with one goal, I'd have to have, right, uh, 10 um, ones, but I'm going to just call it 10 times one for space. So that takes care of the second row. And then I have five matches with two goals each. So that's technically five times two, right? So just the same as writing two five times. I'm going to shorten it into five times two. So that takes care of this. And then I'd have nine matches with three. So that's nine times three. And seven times four. And five times five. I'm going to run out of space. And one times six. So there's technically plus six. And two times seven, which for space, I'll just write 14. Okay. Now, all together, these numbers, and I'll just erase this for clarity, these numbers all add up to the 43 that we were given, which is why it's important to pay attention as you read, right? We could add it all, we could add it all up as well, but it's very easy to get lost in a question like this, not because most students don't know how to find an average, but because the way the information is provided in the table is not the typical way that you would see information for an average question. So then what's my numerator become, right? So I'm going to just cross all this out. So I have 10 plus 5 times 2, which is 10, plus 27 from 9 times 3, plus 28 from my 7 times 4, plus 25 from my 5 times 5. And then, of course, I would just say plus 20 from 6 plus 14. And again, that's still all over 43. So uh, I don't have my calculator with me right now, but let's just do the mental math. So this is 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 25 is 65. So I'm going to just do that. 65 plus 27 plus 28 over 43. And let me go grab my calculator. Okay, so I've got my calculator. So I'm going to just type in 65 plus 27 plus 28. So I get 120 divided by 43. So I take that 120 divided by 43, and what I get here is 2.7906. Because I am averaging to the nearest, right, just clear this up, 
nearest 0 0.1, right? So that's the nearest tenth. So I'm going to round that to 2.8, and therefore my final answer must be choice B.